What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I am on the Pooptopia server and today I am so excited, I'm going to finally start building my base. Um, thanks to NSK Videos for letting me have this piece of land. He does live really really close and he probably might have wanted this at some point but he was happy enough to give it to me which I am very very thankful for so cheers to him. I have a few ideas to how I want to build this base. Uh, I want to build it up on pillars because most of the time on all the other servers I've played before I always build them down on the ground with a massive like ring around it, a uh, behemoth ring. And I want to mix it up a bit in this series. I want to change a few things around, change the way I build, change pretty much everything. Because obviously this is in the PvP server, we're not in a PvP environment, so I don't need to prepare for war. So I can actually start building some really nice, aesthetically pleasing homes, building structures and overall terrain. So in today's episode I will be building this. Um, I'm very excited, like I said. Um, the server is just so great, it has such an amazing community and the people on here are absolutely amazing. All the, ch all the links to their channels will be down in the description and go check them out, give them some support, show them some love because those guys absolutely produce some amazing content. So off camera I've spent a very long time preparing materials, I've got a whole load of these wooden pillars and wooden ceilings here along with a load of wooden walls and wooden foundations however. The foundations will not be used in this build because I'm building everything on pillars, so I decided to mix it up a bit. So we're going to run over here and start production. I put a little bit of a ramp here. Um, I tried getting up here earlier and I failed miserably, even though it is possible to jump onto. I kept failing. So how big am I wanting to build this? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think how I actually want to design this. It's going to be kind of difficult. That already annoys me. That really does annoy me. So I got these pieces here in the ground. I think there's a way you can... Oh yeah, I can place that on top of them. Which would be much better. I don't know why they stick into the thing like that. That really annoys me, that does. Wait, I'm going to see if I can change it quickly. Surely I should be able to change it. Is this a wooden pillar? No, it's a wood ceiling. I should be able to bring this down under the ground because I can't stand the little bits that like it sticks the little bits there and it really annoys me. I can't, I can't seem to bring it. I can't. No, it, it doesn't go down. Doesn't want to go down. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna stick that there. I've seen Sovres and a few of the other guys on the server build like this. They have the pillars and they put a ceiling on top. That way you don't have to look at the pillars. I'm going to start building like that because it's just going to be look a whole lot better from the outside. It will look kind of weird looking out from the bottom, but uh, when you're inside, on the interior, the floor is going to look very refined, very polished off. It's going to look finished, it's going to look good. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm actually going to scrap this. I'm probably going to do that off camera. I'll go over this and put a second layer. But for now, I'm just going to do the main foundations of the base just like so and stick a whole load more supports down move it along and again and then more supports so right how long am i gonna want this we got these four big rocks here it cannot be removed at all i've tried this one here can that one's just grown back i did get rid of it but these four massive rocks there cannot be removed unfortunately but it isn't the end of the world because they do add for some nice design amongst my building here. I can just, you know, build around them and add them as some sort of feature to my house. My building's still looking going to look pretty cool. Um, am I going to build out to there? I think, I think that's far enough. Yeah, that's far enough. I'm going to build. What? Well, let's just, let's just keep going. Hmm. Why isn't it all working? Oh, oh, we've got a bit of lag there. Just made me replace the already existing ceiling. <laughs> my pterodon arrow is just sitting there watching me do all the work treating me like a slave I'm sitting here doing all the hard labour placing all these wooden things and he just sits there watching because he's just lazy and he can't be bothered to help I do need to tame a new pterodon though because that one over there my little arrow only has 150 weight and that really is not good um, I couldn't even carry half of these pieces with me I have run up and down from the beach, which was very, very annoying. And it looks like I'm going to run out of ceiling here as well, which is definitely not good. I need to put down some more foundations.
they just have some really unique and inspiring designs. I just, you can do so much with pillars and, oh, I've done that again. Well, it doesn't matter because it's got to do that. But yeah, pillars make for really good builds. All right, guys, so far, so good. We have, well, this much of the base built. It really isn't a lot at all. It's kind of a disappointing amount. I spent quite a lot of time farming these uh, wooden ceilings, getting the wood for them. And I'm kind of shocked to see that we've ran out of this quickly, which isn't too bad because I can quickly go off and uh, get some more wood now, do it all off camera and then get back here. But I do have one, like I'm planning on building some really, really, really big pirate ship. However, there is a problem. I might have to talk to the server admin, uh, Courtney Chan, and see if he can raise the raft building limit. Because I, I was, well, I spent about an hour on YouTube looking at ship designs, raft designs, and there's this really, really nice one that's inspired me to design my own ships. However, you can only put like 25 structures, I think it is, on a raft or something, and I really want to build this huge ship. But I can't even build a quarter of it with the limit that we have, so I'm going to see if he can raise the limit. Um, I'm doubt, I doubt he can, or maybe he doesn't want to, it's up to him, it's totally up to him, I don't mind if he does or not, but it would be really nice if I could build this huge ship, I think it would look really nice down in the docks, I'm going to put those cannons on it as well, and it's going to look absolutely amazing, but I'll see how that goes anyway, I am, well, so far I'm already liking the looks of this, it's going to look pretty damn cool, I will have to agree to stone at some point, but this is going to look really good, with all these pillars, it's going to like stick really far out here, I'm going to have like, a big window type thing on the front of it. It's gonna be oh, there's just so much to do, guys. This is so exciting, and so fun. I can't wait to get this thing finished. So this is gonna be like the main house area, if you if you prefer to call it. It's gonna be like where my chests are, smithy, everything you need to survive, basically, and then all the extra stuff like uh, the pen. The bird pen is gonna be somewhere attached to this. There's going to be like some sitting area, some area where I meet up with the rest of the server, where we do more collaborations and I get to meet all the other guys, maybe bring some of them over here. And clear out this entire islandy place here is going to be absolutely amazing, can't wait, there's so much potential on the server, so many things to do, it's just, it's insane with how much, you know, I can get done on this server compared to a PvP server that I do normally play. I'm going to start by placing some of these walls here because I don't think I'm going to build out any further than this corner. I think this corner is going to be as far as I can go. I'm going to hit this rock here and then I'm going to have to just like kind of cut this little bit out and go outwards a bit more. I want to kind of build this into a, a proper house design but right now the way I'm seeing it in my head I think it's just going to turn out to be some giant box on pillars. Which I should be able to change anyway. It shouldn't be too hard to change that. I have got roof pieces researched and all the slanted blocks, which is pretty cool. Let me just put down these side pieces here. I'm obviously going to have to go off now and get uh, another couple hundred million pieces of wood. To finish this off, it's going to take ages. I really did not expect it to use up this many pieces in such a small build. I like, you know, I spent about two hours getting wood, I planned ahead, I was like, yeah, this will be enough. And the second it comes to building it, oh, not enough, so I'm going to have to go off and do that. I may do that in my next episode, I may spend the next one or two days now literally just getting as much wood as I can, or probably, well, maybe I might do this off camera, most of it, and then come back when I've finished doing everything and I've accidentally just made a pillar which was not good because I do not need a pillar I've got loads <laughs> just put these wall up to two blocks high one there one there one there and one there now that's as much as I can do at the moment I am gonna have to go over and make double the wood ceilings so I've got wood ceilings and then I have to make even more wood ceilings which is gonna annoy me <laughs> it was really gonna annoy me but I think it's worth it rather than having these stupid Stupid annoying little things here, which really anger me. I don't know why they do that. Pillars are so confusing to why they do that. It's going to be a little bit less space, I've noticed. But this and the wall. Hmm. But that's not a problem. It's only like, what? How much difference? Like, what? One log worth of a wall difference? Which isn't too bad. 
So that's not gonna, really going to affect anything. Chests aren't exactly two uh, wall blocks high. They're slightly smaller than that, so I will be able to fit them in. Put all these back in my chest. Got all my stuff bunched in here and all these crates, which is kind of annoying. I want to really have a base for them. And I've got my cool raft over here. Where is it? Once everything loads in. Getting a bit of lag. There's NSK's base, and here's my raft on you. Ooh. So I got a stego, which I somehow managed to fit on there. Blades are. I've been using them to transport all my items. Uh, do I have anything else left on this raft? Oh, I have a few things here that can bring back with me some bullets. Some me I can bring back the hide, the uh, thatch, and the fiber, along with the flint and the stowed away I can eat right now. Delicious. <laughs> NSK sharks, look at them, they're all out here. What are they doing? I was on earlier today and they got attacked by a wild megalodon and you should have seen what I saw, it was absolutely insane. I was just out here, just coming onto the beach and I just saw a storm of turtles run straight into the water to kill this megalodon. And there they are, they're all bunched up down there. It was pretty funny to watch, but all those aquatic creatures kind of just all piled on in there, went straight to kill that Megalodon, which I sneakily managed to get the meat off. And that meat helped me a lot to feed all my dinos. But yes, where are you, Arrow? We're going to go back to the base. I got a lot of stuff to do off camera. Oh. Alright guys, so looking at what I've already got here, that's my first half to my base, actually. Putting those walls there, I could have, I don't actually need those. I'm probably gonna destroy them and bring it out a bit more. I can fit a lot more in there, in that small amount of gap there. But looking at what I've already got, that's where my main base is gonna be. It's gonna be on pillars, it's gonna look pretty cool. I'm gonna have a few towers. I have a few tower, my, uh, tower designs in my head right now and how I'm gonna design them. They're gonna be on the edge of these cliff faces by there, one there, probably one by there. And maybe one by there. I'm not too sure. I have got to put some gates around here. I'm not going to make it too confined. I want like enough space to do everything. I need to clear up all these rocks. I want a dino pen, a massive dino pen, which I'm probably going to put around here. Massive egg farm, which I plan on making. I've got so much stuff that I'm planning on making. I want a big greenhouse. I want, I want everything, basically. But I'm gonna obviously going to have to dedicate a lot of time. Many hours are going to have to go into this. A lot of stuff's going to be done off, uh, done off camera. But I will make sure that I record a lot of the stuff that's going on so you're up to date with how I'm progressing on the base. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to have to call it to an end here, um, I really can't do much else on that base now without having to go off and farm loads of wood off camera for ages, so I'm probably going to leave that to next episode. Um, there is an update coming out tomorrow, uh, patch, I don't know what it is, patch 240 I think it is, the last one was 239. If it does get released tomorrow, because I know the devs do love changing the dates on their updates, they tend to say it's one day, then the next day, and then they normally delay it by a week or so. But the second that patch does come out, I'll be sure to record a video on it, showcase all the new dinos, all the new features and items they add in that update, and keep you up to date with how the game is actually progressing. Anyway guys, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. All the survivors' links are down in the description. Go check out their channels, they are some amazing people with some amazing content. And guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please don't hesitate to leave a like. It really does show all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you all in the next video.